In this video, we are going to look at the distance, time, graphs. A distance time graph basically shows what is the movement, what is the movement of an object in a given time frame. So what happens in this is you have your x-axis, you have your y-axis. On the x-axis you show the time and the y-axis you show the distance. Okay? Now if suppose the object is moving at a uniform speed, then let's say the distance is this, time is this. Or actually, I should take time first and distance afterwards. So in 10 minutes, let's say it traveled 10 kilometers, 20, 20, 30, 30. Let's say this is something like this. Now when you point this 10, 10, 10, 10 will be here, 20, 20, here, 30, 30, here, 40, 40, here, 50, 50. In fact, there are only, let me keep this there, 40, 40. So you can draw this line here, which will show you that how much distance was covered at a given point in time. So suppose you have to find out how much distance was traveled in 35 minutes. So you take 35 minutes here and you draw a line parallel to the y-axis. Wherever this point intersects this particular line, you draw another parallel to x-axis. And you will find out that this time is actually 35. This is, seems to be close to 35, but when you do it on actual graph, it will come as 35. Now suppose, let's say this is 35, 35. Now suppose you have to find out as to how much this time, uh, sorry, how much distance did the car or anything object covered in between 35 and 45 minutes. So you already have 35 minutes. Now if you see 45, 45 lies somewhere here. You draw a parallel to the y-axis. x is equal to 45. In fact, I think the graphics have been done a bit badly. If you draw a parallel of this, it will give you y as 45. So now you can find out as to how much time did it take to move from 45 to 35 to 45. And what's the distance covered? The distance will be, let's call this as d2 and this as d1. So distance will be d2 minus d1 is equal to 45 minus 35 is equal to 10 kilometers. Now this is a graph which is showing you the distance covered basically on a uniform matter. There could be certain graphs, let's say like this. So the speed went like this, then it slowed down, then it went like this, then it went like this, this. So these graphs can also be used to find out once you have the time scaled up over here, the distance scaled up over here. By plotting these points across this graph, you can also find out as to how much distance is traveled in what period of time. What's the speed at which the car is 
moving or any object is moving.